if I have you guys wait. I was trying to use the restroom. I couldn't do it. Vada. Uh I got to go back and watch this performance. I didn't feel my best, even though I did it. I felt as if I did enough to get the victory, especially with the conversations that I had with my cornermen. I mean, I know it was back and forth action, but um, it was really, for me, it was really kind of early on, it was really hard to get the rhythm of Canelo. And I felt once I got the rhythm, then I started to push him back and then it become a really, really competitive fight. Uh, I'm just hoping for that you guys enjoyed the fight. This was, for me, a great experience being a part of such a uh, big event as this. It doesn't get any higher than this, and I'm just grateful to have this opportunity to please all the fans that tuned in and everyone that showed up tonight. Uh, Canelo is a warrior, obviously, and for me, I just have to go back to the drawing boards and see what I can do better. Uh, but for, it's questionable for me if I'm going to stay in a middleweight division because it is taking a toll on my body and it's showing. I might have outgrown the middleweight division and I might take my talents to super middleweight. We'll see. Um, talk to my team. But for the most part, um, I thought I did enough to win. And um, once I go back to see this fight, on the replay, I'll be able to give a better assessment. But I just thank everybody for being super supportive and all the media for hyping the fight up. This was definitely, hopefully it lived up to the hype, um, but I sure enough gave everything that I thought I could. Um, man, it was, a, it was a great experience. Um, I just love to go in there and give a great showing of boxing. And I had a perfect opponent, a perfect contender to go inside there and battle with me to give you guys a great show. So thank you guys very much. This will not be the end of me. I'm sure you guys see me soon. Thank you. Hey, Mr. Jacobs, Cameron Buford here, LA News Observer. I got a question. You kind of touched on it about the weight there. I was going to ask you, how did that play into the fight? And on top of that, how did the weight clause situation play into the fight? Did that play with your mind at all? No, in I didn't, your preparation. It, it, the weight clause didn't play into my mind at all. Um, I knew it was a sacrifice that I had to take because the 10 day weigh in for me was just a lot. And just me rehydrating with water, uh, I shot up to 170. That was just water alone. So I know that my body definitely needed to rehydrate. Um, and I definitely needed to put a little bit more in my system. So that was a sacrifice that I took. Me and my team came up with the plan that that would be the best decision for me to go in there and give my all and not be more depleted than what we already was. Um, I'm a naturally big guy, and uh, I might have just overgrown the middleweight division, but man, I, I'm, I'm extremely happy. Like This is, for me, a dream come true still. Win, lose, or draw, I, I was able to perform at the highest level, and uh, it's very humbling. Um, the opportunities that I, I've had that I obviously didn't present itself due to my past. And now that I have all these tremendous people, hopefully I gain a couple fans as well, but now that I have all these tremendous people backing me, I mean, I still think that I have a, uh, a career that should be thriving after this because super middleweight division is still jam-packed and um, we'll see what happens. Danny here in front to your, your left. Um, two questions for you. Was there anything in the f first four or five rounds where you lost uh, those rounds that Canelo was doing that was causing you trouble? And then secondly, uh, when you hit him with the left hook in the ninth round, were you surprised that he was able to take it as well as he did and get himself out of danger so quickly? You know, everything happened kind of so fast. I don't believe that I lost the first five rounds. I did think that it, it took maybe two to three rounds for me to get his rhythm. Um, and I thought he would be a little bit more active than what he was, but um, he's a strong force. Um, even though I'm the bigger guy, you can tell, you know, he was there to fight. Um, we both was banging. <laughs> we both was landing. And uh, it's just one of those things that you can go back and forth with, you know, the judging style or, you know, how you gauge an actual fight. Um, I can wish, all the only thing I can do is go back to the tapes and actually make my assessment on it, but I can't do that right now because it's just right after the fight.
Danny, straight in front of you. Uh, I would like your thoughts about Canelo Alvarez's defense. I mean, he's known more or less as an offensive-minded fighter. Tonight, he seemed his defense was extremely strong. According to the CompuBox stats, you only landed 20% of your punches. That's obviously a little lower than you probably would have liked. Uh, can you talk to me about what you thought of his defense tonight? Well, it was definitely a little tricky. I mean, I've always known Canelo had great upper body movement, and that's exactly what he had, um, and that's what he displayed. Uh, I've been vocal about that, you know, this whole press tour about his upper body movement is exceptionally well. Uh, I knew what we were facing, um, but I just thought that I did enough just to kind of tweak it out uh, in my mind, and especially from the conversations we had in the corner. But um, I take my hats off to him. I'm not one of those guys who, even in a close decision, you know, I still tip my hat off to the man facing the ring, facing, facing me across the ring, because it, it takes a true champion to get inside the ring with anybody at this level. Jacob, um, do, do you think it was necessary or uh, help you the change your guards that you did? Or you think it was a mistake? Because we see when you did that, Canelo was hitting you better. And was the it? second question is, do you surprise that Canelo take your best shot? All right, let me get to your first question first. Um, I wasn't surprised um, that he was able to take some pretty good shots. Um, and I, I don't know, like I said, I, I can't, I don't re really remember the fight to be able to answer your first question, but I do think that I was very effective in my softball stance. Um, I wanted to trade a little bit more, but his timing was really good as far as knowing when to punch and when to kind of back off. Um, so for me, it's just really about going back to the drawing boards and seeing what I can do better.